What's going on guys, it's Dark right here, and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be something different. I actually decided to mix it up a little bit and do a video still about video games and stuff like that, but with a little bit of a twist to it. Basically what I'm saying is, we're going to be looking at anti-piracy anti screens today. And what I mean by that is, let's say you get a game, right, that's obviously illegal, that's obviously pirated. You insert it into the game console of choice, let's say PlayStation 1, GameCube, Super Nintendo, it doesn't matter. The list just goes on and on. And let's say you insert that into a game console, and let's just say the screens that you get for those is kind of eerie and a little dark, to be honest with you. So in today's video, we're going to be looking into those, and we're going to be watching a couple of them and reacting to a couple of them. And um, yeah, I'm excited to do this, so let's go ahead and get right into it. There is a lot of these here. Uh, as you can see, there's PSX and Machev warning. What happens when you put a PS3 game in a Wii? PlayStation 1 Air screen. Uh, this disc is for use only on Sega Dreamcast. SpongeBob SquarePants Legend of the Lost Spatula Super Game Boy Error. Uh, GameCube Startup. The system settings have been lost. It, like, it, there's games that even go as far as like when you're in the middle of playing the game, you get an anti-piracy message. Or in Banjo Kazooie, Grunty just erases your game pack altogether, which is kind of kind of clever, if I'll be honest with you. This product will not operate when connected to a device which makes unauthorized copies. Please refer to your instruction booklet for further information. Yeah, see, the game just plays like normal, and then when like you you click onto a level, it literally goes to this screen right here. And it's just Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong literally in jail. <laughs> that's that's scary. Granted, that's the game over screen from Donkey Kong Country 2. But it's still scary to say the least. It's still pretty scary. It's like, you know what? I, I don't blame them one one bit for going as far as to like trying to make these screens like these anti-piracy messages as scary as possible. Because anti-piracy is a serious thing and it can result in a very serious jail time when doing this type of stuff so pretty much game companies are aware of how bad uh piracy is and they try to make it as scary as they can try to scare the player or someone who bought the copy <laughs> or who made the copy whatever uh they try to scare people into not doing it again and let me tell you something they do a very good job on that because there is a lot of screens out there that if I was a pirater, I would never want to see ever. It would scare the shit out of me, to be honest with you. Okay, like right now, let's go to my 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 history because there is some in here that I want to highlight. Anti-piracy screen for uh, DVDs. Okay, that's loud. We might want to turn that down just a tad. I think this is for Spider-Man 1. <clears throat> It's a serious crime to copy DVDs according to copyright law. <laughs> See, that one's just funny. This one, I don't find really creepy. I just find this one pretty funny because they use Spider-Man, uh, the movie Spider-Man, as a result. And it, it's just Peter Parker getting blown up into a brick wall. I just find that one funny. I don't know why. That one's just funny to me. Granted, I have to be careful when looking into these ones because these some of these are fan-made ones, but some of these are actually legit. Like the Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Oh yeah, we need to look at this one. This one is kind of scary, to be honest with you. 480p, yep. We're going. Sega, Sega yeah. December 25th, 1992. <clears throat> ah, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Good times. Mm -hmm. 
hold your hedgehogs. Okay, that that's a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie. It's literally just Eggman looking dead into your soul. Like, look at that shit. Uh, hey there, bud. It's a serious crime to copy video games under copyright law. If you think this is an error, please try cleaning your cartridge before trying again. If you still see this screen, please refer to your instruction booklet for more information. Uh, I can't read that one part because the numbers are in the way. Robotnik would copy video games. Remember, not... Uh, for what I'm seeing, it, it looks like it even says, uh, remember, not even Dr. Robotnik would copy video games. So yeah, this one just, just plays out. Look at that. Oh, don't be like Robotnik. So, okay, I guess it was saying uh, even Robotnik would do it, so don't be like him. So, there you go. GameCube anti-piracy screen. Let's take a look at this one. Well, that booted up pretty fast. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is, that is creepy. This is a pirated GameCube disc. It is a serious crime to copy video games according to copyright law please yeah this is it says the same thing every single time that is horrifying right there it's just a blank background and then this like this red text shows up like that's just creepy yeah then that eerie music starts playing yeah, it's just like those eerie sounds start playing yeah th this is creepy well, they try to get, well, I, I, it works because like, I don't even, I'm not a video game pirater and this scare, this freaks me out. Sonic CD, pirated copy protection for Sonic CD. In the pirated copy, music inter isn't produced. Only sound effects from jumping coin collection and other actions can be heard. Okay. So it's like the copyrighted version of the game, uh, the pirated copy, excuse me, pirated copy. There is like no music made at all, which they even just said it right here on the bottom. They don't even know why that's a thing. This copy has been detected as pirated controls as a lower pitch version of the boss music from the original soundtrack. Yeah, that's, that's creepy. After a few seconds of the screen, the game crashes. Yikes. The reason why they scrapped this idea remains unknown. Uh, most say due to the attempt to scare children and adults by interfering with the music caused by the idea to be removed. But with the music caused the idea to be removed. But it, it works. <laughs> you know, I don't understand why they removed that. Oh, here we go. The pirated version of Sonic CD containing this anti-piracy measure never surfaced on the internet. The only access to the version was leaked by one of the employees of Sega who shall not be named. Really? This never surfaced on the internet? I mean, you would think with how dark and eerie that is, video game piraters would be all over that. Alright, the next one we got here is Windows XP anti-piracy screen. From what I've seen with this one, this one is pretty scary too. This one's pretty pretty uncomfortable Windows XP God I remember that I remember that Windows well that version of Windows Yep, just booting up like normal. I ah, see the loading the loading time down there was kind of slowing down a little bit. Oh. I've never seen a fade away like that. Oh, that's creepy. This is a pirated copy of Windows XP. Please turn off the computer and install a legal copy of Windows XP right now. It is a serious crime to pirate software as we at Microsoft do not tolerate software piracy. Pirated Windows copies will not pass Windows genuine advantage and is a serious offense by the United States copyright laws. Please shut down the computer now. Wow. 
Wow. That one is probably the creepiest one I've seen throughout this entire session. That one's just creepy. Sonic the Hedgehog secret anti-piracy screen. All right, let's see it. Sonic the Hedgehog just booting up as normal. What is this? What's happening? I didn't know what was going on there. Okay, so the game is just playing out like normal. I'm assuming he gets like either halfway through the level or just finishes it all together, then it comes up. He's going straight back to the beginning of the level. What? What? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that is... <laughs> that's scary. Um... Warning, it is a serious crime for the pirated version. This is a serious crime for the pirated version of the video game copy. If you still see this screen, refer to your instructions manual or get a legal copy version. <laughs> or get it. Yeah, they give you the option for that one. That's horrifying, actually. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. Jesus. Okay, Sega, I see you. Anti-piracy screen for Super Mario 64. It's me, Mario. Mario 64. Okay. It is a serious crime to copy video games according to copyright law. Please refer... Yeah. And then right down there, I'm assuming that says the same thing, but just in Japanese. Yeah, that's that's a little eerie. That's a little dark. Anti-piracy save corruptor for Super Mario 64. Okay, what is this one? Let's see this. Oh man, you talk about a bad time for your save file to be corrupted. Nice try. What did that mean? <laughs> oh, and Mario, nice try. Wait, what's gonna happen? I have a feeling something's gonna happen after this, this plays out. I have a feeling. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> this one's creepier than the other one. Holy hell. It is a serious crime to copy video, right? uh, copy video games according to the copyright law. Will be a... Uh, I can't read that one right here. What does that say? All saved data will be erased for not complying. Please refer to your Nintendo. Wow. Okay, so like if you manage to get past it and you could still play the game fully at 70 stars for not complying for Nintendo giving you a warning, they will erase they erase your entire save file. Wow. That's harsh. Well, not really. You know what I'm trying to say. Yep, and there's the save file. It's completely gone. Wow. <laughs>
Dang. Okay, Nintendo is already... They're already strict on protecting their games and their, their stuff anyway. Because Nintendo is a company in Japan, so that's expected. But, man, they would go as far as delete your entire save file, which is really good if you're if you're a pirater. Weird Luigi's Mansion anti-piracy screen. Mm -hmm. This one's for Luigi's Mansion. For the Nintendo GameCube. Okay. We are we just gonna sit here? Well, I got they gotta stretch out the video as much as they can. Uh, let's see. Oh my god. That's not weird. That is terrifying. Okay, that was, uh, that was very uncomfortable. Anti-piracy level from, again. Okay, so this is another one right here is literally from Mars 64 again, but this time, this is what happens when you enter a level on the pirated copy. So, let me take a look at this one and see this one. I'm curious, like, what happens when you end the level? That has to be fake. Is that legit? It just throws you into a level. Yeah, I think this is fake. This one has to be fake. Yeah, I guarantee you this one's fake, probably. This one right here is for Superman 64, so let's see this one. Licensed by Nintendo. Okay. So, of course, it's just like any other game. It just plays like normal. Or if you get unlucky. In if you get a... Time, your fate oh. Will be seen. I haven't seen this game yet. You are a thief? Oh my god! <laughs> this is a pirated copy. Is, is Superman saying anything to you? <laughs> is that it? If that one's legit, that one is pretty creepy. I'll give it that. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is something a little different that I wanted to throw together. Uh, take a look at some anti-piracy screens because I, I got curious and I wanted to make a video on it. So I uh, did something a little different today. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section down below. With that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. And you guys have a great rest of your day.